I want my tuna. <laughs> I didn't get tuna. <laughs> um, if you're a Facebook fan or whatever, you may know what happened today. I was, it was like a war zone and I felt like I was not in the United States for sure. Margaret Houston, I'm Clive and Bundy's sister. I know we said the picket lines today, Monday. If you're not there, if you haven't been there, you need to go to see what's going on. They have snipers, they have helicopters, they're carrying machine guns. Um, it's not pretty. It's like I'm in a foreign country. And I seen it by <laughs> on the ground today. Uh, Uh, we was just at the picket lines and there have been a few BLM, you know, trucks go by and we would kind of watched them and, and uh, we seen a bunch of them. There were like 13 or 14 vehicles coming down off the mountain. And so we spotted them and we noticed that they had a dump truck in a loader and then a bunch of BLM trucks. So we thought, you know what, we want to know what's in that dump truck and why they used the loader. We're figuring they're up there shooting our cows, burying them in the mountains. So we thought, we're going to go and check them out. And so we did, and they started coming down towards the road, and, and uh, a couple of them got past me, and I, I was screaming, go home, we don't want you here. Just get off our land, give our cows back. That was what was being said, mostly that. And um, I followed the truck down. Some of them had got past me and, and, and pulled over was out of their vehicles. I just followed one of them down and uh, got there. And then there was continued, you know, more coming. And um, I did get in front of one of the trucks and I was like this on the, on the, you know, front and he just kept coming. So I just backed up with him. And one of the, you know, friends, family, you know, said, Margaret, you know, get off, you're gonna get hurt. So I backed up. And then the second truck come, and I was just on the side. I was screaming, hollering. I was flipping. I had my camera and didn't take one picture. I was just going like this, turning it off and on. But uh, anyway, and I was screaming at him and, and whatever. And all of a sudden, I get hit from the back. And it was like a football tackle. It wasn't a push. And I don't know what you've seen on the news, but it was a tackle. They took me and he just threw me down to the ground like that. I was a little shocked as I hit the ground. It didn't knock me out or anything. Just a little shocked that somebody could actually do this. I mean, he was very strong. It felt, you know, the muscle, the heart. And I, somebody helped me up. I got right back up. As soon as I got up, he had his taser shot at my face. I mean, he didn't shoot me. Pointed at my face and he said, "Back off! I'm gonna, I'm gonna tase you." And he kept saying it to everybody, and there was a line of them. They just kept, you know, back up. We're gonna let our dog go. We're gonna tase you. Well, my nephew, you know, as soon as they threw me down, everybody screaming, "Why are you throwing a lady down, a woman down?" And and Ammon, he pressed forward a little bit. They sent their dog dog after him. Um, he got tased two to three times. Um, I was back up in their face again, saying which one hit me, and I did touch a couple of them. I was punching them in the chest, just saying, hit me again, throw me down again. And I was wanting to know who where Cox was, because he's the one that beat up Davy. I said, where's that Cox? Is he the one that hit me and knocked me down? Um, I didn't see his name on any of their badges, but I just said, you know, hit me, tase me, give me whatever. And, and we just stood there and, um, and eventually they, you know, got in their vehicles a little by little and, um, and, they, and they eventually left. Um, but it's on Facebook, you know, I don't know what the media's done. I don't know what they've said, what they've done. It wasn't a push, it was a throw. Uh, you know, my pants are ripped, my knees are ripped, uh, you know, got sores on my hand. Did they call medical? No, no medical. No one. BLM did not ask me if I was okay. They didn't help me up. They never asked me if I was okay. They never said anything. They just told me they were going to tase me as soon as I got up, and and it was in my face. And I, and no one, no one asked me if I was okay. 
uh, there was a couple, you know, and I don't know what the highway patrol had heard, whatever, what their orders are, but there was a few that had drove by afterwards, was waiting for the ambulance. The news guy had called 911. No one ever come. I don't know how many 911 calls they got, four or five or so. An hour or so later, they came. If I would have been hurt, I would have died before they ever come because it took them over an hour to get there. You know, we wanted them. Yeah, it was a volunteer bunk of wheel. The ski didn't come. They didn't come. Uh, met, you know, it was it was Bunkerville that came and. Did you ever find out what was in the truck? Um, what we seen in the truck was the watering systems for the cows. Um, they had taken the water, so they're choking them, trying to get them either to just choke to death or come to the river. I'm not sure, but they had the system in the back of the dump truck. You're my hero. Thank you. I'm just a crazy buddy, and I, I, you know, uh, what can I say? But it, it's a war zone. You guys need to come to the picket line and just see really what's going on. Then you'll understand what the media says, whatever. It, it, it's a war zone, and that's, that's how it is. And I felt like I was in a war today.